Hi everyone, it's Robin from Crafting with Robin and today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'm going to start out with a bag. Just a few items I got at the one Dollar Tree I went to, which is a Dollar Tree that's close to Minneapolis. Um, I was a little disappointed in it. It was a newer store. It Last time I was there, I think I've only been, this was the second time I've been there. It was full. It had everything that I've been looking for. I think I spent over $100 there. And yet the other day when I went, it was kind of a mess. There was a ton of empty shelves and it didn't look like they were restocking. So there was no carts with boxes or anything. And it kind of smelled really bad in there. And I don't know, maybe they just were having something happen that week. I, I'm not sure, but it was kind of disappointing. But so I only found a few things there and that was it. I mean, it, it, yeah, it smells like pee in there. Um, things were not where they belonged. Everything I found was not in the spot where it usually, you know, normally should have been. It was just thrown in, there's piles all over. And, and I'm not condemning the staff or anything because they were probably over, were, you know, understaffed, overworked. Um, but it was a little disappointing because I went there expecting to you know, find all these things I've been looking for, find some new things, and I didn't really find anything new. And as far as the empty shelves, they're probably getting ready for a, lo uh, a load uh, delivery to come in of maybe the school supplies or fall stuff. So, I mean, you know, and it could have been just, it was on a Sunday, it could have been just that they didn't have time to, you know, clean up anything over the weekend. But but the staff was very friendly. There was only two people that I saw working. There might've been a third one somewhere, but very friendly people. So I'm not condemning the staff at all. I'm just stating the fact that I was a little disappointed. I was just kind of surprised because I expected to, you know, leave with a big haul, but I only found a few things. But one of them was the popcorn bags. I I just don't think I've looked in my, craft, my Dollar Tree for these. And I just happened to find these laying in a spot and thought they were cute. So I grabbed them. And there's eight of them in here. I'll probably use them and make popcorn sometime when the grandkids are here and they'll have a fancy little bag. Maybe we'll sit outside and watch the movie. Not sure how I would do that though. They used to have a little, probably still have it somewhere, a little portable um, video player. And I probably still have it somewhere that I don't, if it works, we could use that. Some of the smaller sponge brushes. I've got the packages that have the different ones in, but this is the first time I've seen these in a while, so I'll grab those. And this is something I haven't seen in a long time. And I only found the two laying there. I didn't find the spot with it where they normally would be. There wasn't any there. But these are the wood slices, and I figured I could use those for different projects in the fall, whether it's a pumpkin stem or I decide to make a frame with them or whatever. And the other thing, this is something I haven't, oh, there's a, more. This is something I haven't seen yet. Don't know why I thought I had to get it because I don't really care for it. Never liked it when I was a kid. Big League Chew, I guess it just brought back my memory. Of bad taste in some, I don't know. But kind of something this around it. I'll give it to the grandkids. And then I grabbed this ribbon. There's some bees on that, the top one. Might have that already. I know I have this one already, but I wasn't sure about the B one, so I did grab that. So that was it for that store. And this one, I think, might be two. Nope, this is just one store here. Because, yeah, I had my cart full that day. Grab some electronic wipes, the lemon scented, by all clear. And then I grabbed some baby wipes just to have on hand, either when the grandkids are here and I need to wipe their hands quick. Or I actually think I'm going to put these in the car. So when we're out and about, I do have something. These are already open, but there's a mini composition notebook. So you get three of them in here. And they're little, I mean, they're tiny. This is my hand. And there's three in the package for $1.25. And they got just the lined paper like the top, like the bigger ones. Perfect for in the purse if you want to like to keep a little notebook to write notes in, which I do. I grabbed four of these mirrors. They're just a, uh, I don't know, four by four, whatever size they are. What does it say? Four and a half by four and a half. 
So I grabbed four of those for a project. And then I also found some new, a new brand. I haven't seen it in any of my Dollar Trees. Sophie brand hair products. So I did grab one of these big clips. I thought it looked like one of them, the teeth was broke off of it. And then this one, which has the flowers on it, and it's kind of a beige color. And I grabbed a couple of these, the hair scrunchies. And that is what they say on their scrunchies, not scrunchies. And hair spirals. And this one, see. <laughs> This one is, let's see, I took this off. I was seeing if it would even work in my hair. And it does as long as I don't try, try to put too much hair in it. But it's the little barrettes. This, they're kind of clips. This is a different brand, hair coils. And they're a little smaller, so I don't know if these are made for kids or, but. If they don't work in my hair, I'll give it to my grandkids. And then I grab butterflies, stickers. They're the, they got the wings that stick up. Some chapstick or clear ice or tap ice lip balm. These are watermelon and blue raspberry. They call them crazy flavors. So I must have bought those for the grandkids. Then I grabbed an Ioni tweezer to have around. The other day, my granddaughter got a piece of glass in her foot. I might have already told that story, <laughs> but I got tweezers then, so I have them ready. And, and then I did grab one of these pin cushions for the wrap it around your wrist, and you got the pin, pins available when you're working. And a couple of the bigger clamps. I've got a lot of the smaller ones, but I thought it'd be handy to have a couple bigger ones. I haven't seen them in the store in a while. And the stretch cording. I'm kind of feeling like I might have hauled these two things already. I'm not sure. Like maybe they were left sitting on the table after my last haul. I don't know. You tell me if you know it. And then I grab. I got this pen. Pen from Jot. It's a pop bubble ballpoint pen. It's got the little fidgety fidget thing on there, the pop thing, and it's a dinosaur and a pen. But I'm gonna throw this in my grandson's birthday gift. I think he'll like it. I did grab a couple more of the fudge cookies. I've hauled them before. Don't need to see them again. I grabbed some of the salt and vinegar chips and some of the cheddar cheese. I haven't tried this brand. I'm assuming they'll taste like the, the original brand. So far, Dollar Tree food hasn't been. Is this a Dollar Tree brand? I guess I should check that up. Manufactured by Super Puff Snack. Well, I don't know. Now I grabbed some lemon cream cookies, sandwich cookies by Lance. And then I already opened these and tasted them and they are really good. Ice lemon cookies by the Rolling Pin Company. This is the only package I saw, so if I see them again, I'll buy some more. They, I thought they were really good. I'm actually tempted to get another one, but I don't need it right now. Um, my great nephew's fourth Third, third birthday party is tomorrow. So I did get him a few things. I got him, first of all, he's having a, a underwater or themed birthday parties, sharks and um, his grandma, my sister, made him a shark pinata for the kids. And then the adults, she made an octopus pinata. So we're gonna have some adult treats that we'll get out of that. She likes making pinatas, I guess. So I'm going to give him those in his gift. I did get him. Oh, I got him. I actually got it from Walmart. This on clearance, this little, it's rubble rescue truck from Paw Patrol. 
and I got it for $13. So I think that was a pretty good deal. And then I grabbed two bags while I was at the Dollar Tree. Because I wasn't sure what I, at that time, I wasn't sure yet what I was going to get him for his birthday. And I just wanted to make sure I had a bag. So I grabbed the dinosaur and the shark one. I'll probably end up using the dinosaur one. It looks like that truck and the, I got them a couple books, they'll fit in there. And this book is called I Am Caring. They're board books. It's really kind of nice for parents that don't want to sit forever and read books to their kid. Because usually they lose interest after a little bit. So I am caring and then I am respectful from the same line. There's another one, I am empowered and I am confident. I didn't see those or I would have grabbed those also. So those are for him. And then the sticker story adventure. They're um, dinosaur terrain, so it's dinosaurs, which he likes dinosaurs also. But there's a sheet right here of like a background, and then you can use the stickers on there. So I thought he'd have fun with that. So I'm gonna put the fruit snacks over here too. And then I got these, one for my grandson and one for my granddaughter, whose birthday's coming up. And it's Nana Loves You. Because all families look a little different, but they love their precious little ones just the same. So I'll just put those in their gifts. And I don't think I showed this yet. The apple cinnamon fruit puree, Wana, Wanabana, Wanabana, whatever it's called. That's a three pack. Okay, so the Listerine, or no, Lavoris, not Listerine, Lavoris Whitening Mouthwash. Whites, whiten teeth and, teeth and freshens breath with natural mint. So I thought I'd give that a try. And then I don't think I showed this yet. Purple disappearing. I kind of pulled things out of the bag. I probably shouldn't have, because that's how I usually tell if I've hauled something is if it's in the bag or out of it. School glue. So I have that for crafting. And then I grab some crayons. Jolly Rancher. I don't I don't know if I like the smell of them. I don't know. They don't I don't think they smell fruity or anything, but that's fine. They don't have to smell fruity. And then I grab some of these strainers. I my bathroom sink does not have a stopper in it. So or a what do you call it? Trap? Whatever you call it that catches your hair or whatever. So I have to put, it's just a hole going down. So I have to put something over it to, and this is the size I need. And it's cheaper to buy these two at Walmart than it is to just buy, or at Dollar Tree than it is to just buy one of those at Menards or Walmart, wherever. So I always buy these, and then I have these in abundance. But I save them because if I find somebody that needs them, or I can take them to Goodwill or something, there might be somebody. Or just donate them somewhere. Now, let's see. Is there, um, so these, and then I'm going to go, I think all that's left then is school supplies. I did get a couple of these odor eliminator, not odor, charcoal moisture eliminators. I don't get a lot of moisture in the basement, but sometimes you can kind of, in the bathroom down there or something, because there's not a ceiling fan in the bath, a fan, fan in the, um, what do you call it? So sometimes when they're, if somebody's showering and it gets too hot in there, I figured I'd put one of these in there and see how it works. I've seen somebody haul them, but I've never actually paid attention at my store if they have them. And then let's see. Oh, this thing. This will probably go in with the, oh, and I got, did get these, I did find two more of the dishes. A peppermint sage dish soap. I really like it. So I did get two more of those. So I'm kind of stocked up for a while on that. And I have plenty of the, the all-purpose cleaner. I have plenty of body wash. All of that stuff that I've been stocking up on. Cleaned out my cupboard the other day and straightened it out. And it's full of body wash and hand soap. So this is a yogurt cup. I don't know if they had them last year. I'm going to think, say that I thought it, they did, but I didn't pay attention to them. But they got the lid there with the stone. And then this little tap thing, I'm assuming is to collect granola or something in. 
whatever or whatever you want to dump into your yogurt. So I just grabbed one of those. And then now I think it's I'm just just the school supplies now. The problem these notebooks, except for this, they get a flexible cutting mat. Just generic, nothing major. But these have this little pocket in the front. I got two of these. The little pocket in the front, and then you open it up and it's got the little slots for your papers or whatever. And I got the pink and I got the gray, and I'm pretty sure they had maybe a green um, and a blue or something. Probably, just you know, you know, they always do it in fours. So I got two of those. I figured, I don't know what I'll use it for. Maybe I'll use it for um, receipts or something and then notes. We'll see. I'll figure it out. I know I... I know I can use them. I'll find something to use them for. Then I got this organizer um, set, and they lock together. And there's a bigger one, and then there's this narrow, long one, and then these three. And I discovered in my, well, last year, because I bought a couple of these last year, they fit in the drawers that I have in my craft room just perfect. So I did get another one of those. I might grab another one yet just to, because I might get some more of those drawers. They're, they're actually, you get them at Menards, and they're, if you have a Menards in your area, I think it's a Midwest thing. But they're like a closet, they're for closets. Like if somebody wanted to organize a closet, you would buy these sets, and there's two drawers, and I have, I have it so that I have them stacked, two of those double drawers, so there's four, is it two? Yeah, there's, so there's four drawers, and I have it on both sides of me. And then I have some of the taller shelf ones on the other side. And that's kind of what my craft table, it sits on that. It's just a big slab of like a covered, I think it's for shelving. And it's like maybe three by six, four by six, something like that. So that's what my craft table is. And it's full of junk right now. So I can't go in there and do anything. So I have a table set out in my, kind of my, by my living room and dining room. <laughs> But anyways, I did find this too. This is this is a new thing. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen it before. I don't know if it is new. Let me know if you know if it is. But it opens up and it's a paint tray, activity paint tray. So you got the little areas here to put your paint in. You got a slot here for your brush. And then I'm thinking, I mean, it's not sealed very good, so you couldn't leave it for very long and you couldn't tip it or anything, but Let's say your kid's doing painting and they have to stop to go have a snack or, you know, company came or whatever and you wanted to leave their prod paper in there, their brush, their stuff, and just close it up and maybe just have it sit in there. That would work perfect for that. Otherwise, I'm not sure what. If you can think of other things to use it for, let me know. I think that's pretty much probably what it's for. And for other school supplies, I did get, I got four of these because I thought they would work good for other things besides markers. But these are market, marker storage containers. So they get four there. And they have the little flip things there. But I thought these would work. Well, I was, I originally I bought four of them because my last haul, I bought four of these. These pencils. And I thought they would fit in there, and they don't fit. So I'm thinking besides markers, crayons, um, they could be used for your hair supplies. Maybe if you're traveling and you want to protect some of your hair, hair things, hair, whatever, you can put them in here. Um, photos, if you want to put photos in here. If you want, let's see what else. Seeds. I could use these to put my seeds in if I'm gonna not using them all this year, which I think I pretty much did use. Well, there's a couple that I didn't use. I could put them in here and have it labeled, have it put somewhere that'll whatever. You you know, let me know what you what ideas you have for them. And then I grabbed these. It's a set of three snack containers with lids. So they're small. And there's three in here. I'm going to open it. 
like these work good for your smaller little supplies like whether it's beads same thing with this if you wanted to put some jewelry or something in here to travel with or hair hair scrunchies or whatever so i got three of those or one pack of those and then here's another storage one. i love these i I like these for anything, recipe cards, whatever you want fits in these. Beads, anything in your craft room, or I mean these two, they're, they're sealed pretty good. You could put your snacks, use these in the lunch boxes. You wouldn't fit a lot in there. You wouldn't fit a sandwich or anything like that, but that you could fit some of these crackers in there or cookies in there. Oh, here's another thing that's not right. <laughs> they opened them. Sorry, I took them off of here because I put them on when I and FaceTimed my grandkids the other day. <laughs> Aren't they cute? So I got these to put in the gift for tomorrow too. They're cute. Put them back on here now. And I found them in the party section. They had, they might have had a couple different one kinds. I'm not sure. And then my last item, I believe this is the last thing. Yep, it looks like it. This Sure Fresh small container and lid, and it's got an ice pack inside. Oh, I see. Wonder it comes out it looks like, but I'm wondering too if it would be just easier to put the whole lid in the freezer. It looks like it will pop out of here. I'm a little bit afraid I'll crack my lid. There. So it comes out. You put this in the freezer. And then you got the little container to put whether you want to put some yogurt and fruit in here for um, your grand grand or your your kids' um, lunches or whatever. What I used to do for yogurt for the kid, my daughter, when she used to bring a lunch all the time, because she was very picky, it was very hard to find something that she liked to eat because she didn't really care for sandwiches that much. I would freeze gogurt, and then I could put other things that were like lunchables or whatever in her lunch crackers and cheese i shouldn't say lunchables but i'd make my own little snack things but i could put that frozen gogurt in there to help keep it cold and i i would do it with um what do you call them juice boxes too but not freeze them all the way i'd just put them in the freezer for a little while and that would help keep stuff cold so that was my little helpful hint for the day but anyways this is kind of interesting, so I grabbed one of these. I'm probably will give it to my daughter or one of my kids for their kids' lunches. I think my daughter's kids eat at school, their school lunch. Anyways, that was it. Yep, that was everything. So let me know if you are finding any any of this stuff at yours. Um, give me ideas on what you would use this thing for other than what I suggested, or even these, or if you're even seeing them at your store, okay, I'm going to grab a couple more. But I, yeah, I really wish the pencils would have fit in there. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Have a good week. Bye.